G'day YouTube. Just come back for the in from the inverter shop and picked me up a big surprise. I wonder what's in this box. Let's get it out of the transit van and have a look. Here, we've got the ca uh, wooden part of the box open. Trevor's in the road. Let's just check. There's no dents and scratches in the box. Looks, looks a bit better wear, wear than what the outside did. I wonder what's in here. Just pulling the lid off now. Oh, look, it's big and blue. You watching, Charlotte? Yeah. Let's keep going, Trev. Let's just have a closer look. Ooh. God, they... Whoop. Looks like it's packed well. Well, there's my hand. My hand's pretty big. So yeah, the picture doesn't do it justice. This side's not dent too much. This is the side the box looked a bit worse or where. Now it's supposed to have a serial connector in it because I asked for one. So it's on the chair over. She's going to come have a look. Okay, we've got the big inverter we cheated we stuck it on top of a road case brought it in so it looks pretty big there's the connections where the wires go for the inverter so basically we're going to retire that one and retire that one we're going to take those two off the wall and replace it with this 12 kilowatt inverter all right we're going to get started now. Okay, a bit of an update. Thank you, just in case, for the idea of um, screwing the piece of timber to the wall. To hold the inverter, it worked perfectly. There's just enough clearance under there with the switches and controls. But yeah, the, um, I had a couple of Burly blokes over here give us a hand and put it on the wall, but unfortunately they didn't want to show their face on YouTube. So there we are, it's all attached to the wall, ready to fire up. Just got to wait for the electrician to come and put these wires back in there. Alright. So yeah, the electrician came today, it's all wired in, it's all running, we just, up here we'll just pivot up and you can have a zoom in, oh this is not going to work, I'm just going to zoom in the air gauge, ok YouTube, we've got the new inverter running, and uh, Here's what the display says. We're running at 82%. Battery voltage is under load. So yeah, we've got the new, new inverter all up and running. And it's coping pretty well. 
Okay, there's the amp gauge, the trusty amp gauge. And there's the Maisie's off grid power meter spinning. So I just used the cable that was on the um, Aussie batteries inverter that didn't have the uh, charge control. Let's see how many amps it's pulling. Okay, this is the DC amps uh, at 48 volts that we're pulling out of the batteries. Seems to be handling it pretty well. A bit easier than the pips. But yeah, cool, 200 and something.